goodbye to those old lies. Follow your dreams, you'll see what you can be when you will be. Never give up on your dreams, a shining good your world can be. Reach for your dreams, All hail the Gubs of Army, and what have I for you today, my friends? Well, we're going retro with the Transformers Encore Twin Cast. And he comes with Cybertron Stripes and Night Stalker. Stripes is based on Ravage, and Night Stalker was based on Steeljaw, the lion. And yeah, it's just a recolor, but instead of fitting only one cassette, it fit two. But I thought this might be a fun little review. Yeah, right there, the sides. Turn it around. Ah, classic. Fortress Maximus. So just so you can see, yeah, this is the era when it came out when there was Fort Max. Right there. Go back to the side. Right there. Nice job. And there you go. And then, real fast, if we tilt this, you can see the transformation, and yeah, it really is that simple. Yeah, I'm not going to do transformations. We're just showing off the figure. So, let's go and get him out of the box. And here's what's in the box. What's in the box is... We have Twin Cast. We have Cybertron Stripes. We have uh, Night Stalker. You know, and their little... Stripes gets the wings. Night Stalker gets these missiles. And Blaster's weapon also came with two little uh, cassette holders. Yeah, that you could put them in if you wanted to, but... Yeah, the figure looks excellent. It's a great... I remember loving Blaster when I was a kid. It was awesome. And then, of course, you get these cards, which, you know, you turn them over, and, yeah, they have their tech specs, you know, and they give you... I guess in Japan, they added them up for you, so he's got 58. Now, in the G1, at least in America, you didn't get... You didn't get these cards. They would just be written on the back. You'd get the bio. Yeah, so there you go. The weakest one right here. Yep, but I think it's very good that they included it. So let's go and transform these guys into their alternate modes. Let's do this. And here we have, over here, Night Stalker and Stripes in their animal modes. And man, these are my two favorite cassette um, designs. You know, I mean, I loved Steeljaw. I thought Steeljaw was great back in the day. And so, yeah, Night Stalker, love him. I mean, actually, Steeljaw is my favorite of all the cassette molds. And then number two for me is Ravage. And, of course, Stripes here is 100% based off of Ravage. So you've got two figures that I really love right there yeah and they look great the only problem is yeah they don't stand well they're always falling down yeah, it's actually like a challenge hey who can stand them faster <laughs> yeah me and my friends played stupid games like that okay who could stand their ravage faster yeah it, we were bored okay it's very boring okay I lived in a bucket but um, anyway, <laughs> two great figures, really love them, think they're fantastic. So let's go and take a look at Twincast now. And here we have the excellent face sculpt for Blaster, or Twincast. Yeah, I've always loved Blaster's head sculpt because it reminded me of Ultraman. Yeah. So the first time I saw the face, I was like, it's like Ultraman! I was so excited. Yeah, but really... I love, I love G1 figures because of, of nostalgia. Let's be honest, they weren't the greatest set of figures ever, but they were creative, and if you grew up with them, yeah, you love them because 
they were fun. I mean, and actually, Blaster was cool because he was so big. I say, well, how big was he? Okay, well, there you go. There he's standing next to leader class Optimus Prime. This is the caliber Optimus Prime. Yeah, so you can see he's taller than even this figure. Now, you know, then you might go, wow, what's his articulation? Back in the day, it was like you were excited about Blaster's articulation. His head spins around. Oh, look at the arms. The arms will move up and down. Amazing. He's got a wrist swivel. Part of transformation. That counts. And hey, can he kick forward? No, but he can do an awesome sidekick. And if you balance him right, there you go. Amazing. Yeah. He's ninja. But not the ninja. <laughs> but yeah, this is... Blaster was just an example of what we had. Just awesome, fun play that came from... He was a brick. Like most G1 figures, totally bricks. But they had a lot of fun, a lot of playability. Yep, and we always complain because no matter how good a Transformer is now... We're going to complain, but then we look back at these. For the older fans, we look at these and we're like, Oh, awesome, nostalgia goggles. Yeah, but I love it. I thought you might think this is interesting. Let me know in the columns. Please like, subscribe, and share. Maybe let me know a figure you'd like to see in 4K. All hail the Gubs of Army, out. Oh, and check out Master Fu's page. Yeah, almost forgot that. Hi, Fu. Oh, and if you were wondering... What happened with the ninja? Why did I yell, ninja, no? Because he was going and grabbing a wire at that time. Yeah. The uh, charger for the uh, camera. <sighs> he never stops.